the fluoridated man. Item number, SCP-1862. Object class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures SCP-1862 is to be contained in a chamber of similar proportions and furnishings to a Class II humanoid containment cell. But with all inner surface surfaces constructed entirely of plexiglass, polyethylene, polypropylene, or other 1862 safe materials, a complete list of 1862 safe substances may be found in Document 1862-A. Unexposed structural elements may be constructed of standard materials. The containment cell is to be outfitted with an airlock to prevent contamination of the rest of the facility. All personnel entering the chamber must be wearing 1862 safe full body protective suits complete with respirators. In the event of contamination, personnel are to immediately wash and apply calcium gluconate gel to the affected area, then report to the infirmary for treatment. Contingent on continued good behavior, SCP-1862 is to be provided with music, 1862 safe writing materials, and access to television shows and news projected into the cell. Other requests may be approved on a case-by-case -case basis by the project director. SCP-1862 is to be provided with three liters of distilled water each day, contained in 1862 safe bottles. Additionally, once per week, a piece of fluorite of no less than 200 milligrams is to be given. To SCP-1862. SCP-1862 is under the impression that it is in the custody of the FBI's Unusual Incident Unit, and current policy is to allow it to continue in that belief. Description SCP-1862 appears to be a young male human of Hispanic descent, with dull yellow skin. All organs and systems of SCP-1862 are based on fluorine. Skin and most connective tissue is constructed of impure polytetrafluoroethylene, more commonly known as Teflon. Internal structures are all made of various fluorine compounds. In place of blood, SCP-1862 has oxygen-carrying perfluorochemicals. Instead of sweating, SCP-1862 secretes hydrofluoric acid. SCP-1862 requires oxygen and exhales a mixture of fluorine and gaseous hydrogen fluoride. Though SCP-1862 cannot eat food, it requires water, and fluorite has proven beneficial for its health. How SCP-1862 continues functioning despite its aberrant biochemistry is presently unclear. Prior to containment, SCP-1862 was an orderly named Michael Serrano at a Washington, D.C. hospital. On the side, he ran a conspiracy website, www.truthoffluorine.blank dedicated to proving that the United States government was poisoning its citizens through fluoridated drinking water. For a sample of the content of the site, please consult Addendum 1862-10. Of possible note is that among the pr approximately 1,400 regular posters on the site's forum, at least 30 went missing within a six-month period before the containment of SCP-1862. The connection between SCP-1862's website and its present condition is unknown. Addendum 1862-10 The following are excerpts from www.truthoffluorine.blank, a website created and operated by Michael Serrano before he became SCP-1862. 
For decades now, USA Gov has been poisoning us through our everyday products. Our nation's water system is churning with poison. That poison is called fluorine, element 9, and it's a poison of body, mind, and soul. Studies show that fluorine lowers IQ by as much as 10 points each year of continued exposure. They do this to keep us docile, so we don't care that USA Gov has turned on us. Even now, a campaign of brainwashing and intimidation and bone melting is being waged against we the people. And the weapon of choice of USA Gov is Fluorine 9. I spoke to my contact in the UIU and he told me how he and some friends got sent down to the treatment, poisoning, plan of McMillan by their supervisor. This was on the 18th, 2 times 9, of the month and the UIU is Division 9 of the FBI. When he got there, they gave him and the others canisters with some liquid to wheel into the basement. They told him that if one of the canisters tipped over, he and his friends would die, and they would dump the bodies in sand towers where they wouldn't be found. Are you wondering what I was when he told me this? That's right. What could have been in those canisters that's worth killing him over if he found out what was inside them? It's not so simple as to just avoid the poison taps. Many bottled water companies are traitor and fill their bottles with poison tap water. Use a give us some fluoridate on their, their water on site. They don't mention this on the bottles because we know they know that we the people won't stand for it. If you buy just the right brands, the supermarkets, super dupes, record it and give all your information to anyone who comes asking. They also make it so your coupons don't work there. Then, UIU sector or hand agents come to your house and pump you full of fluorine 9 until you do whatever they say. So get your water off the grid. Still wise to check at the supermarket every so often though if they still take your coupons. If they ever don't, don't leave your house for the next few days and don't answer the door. Addendum 1862-20 Excerpt from an interview with SCP-1862 regarding its behavior in containment. Then you are not bothered by remaining in, con in containment? Perhaps indefinitely? Nah, I'd just be putting everyone around me in danger. Can't have someone like me who knows what I know running around, right? Besides, I get to know I was right all along. How many people get to see behind the veil of lies, man? We still haven't been able to find any evidence of the attempts to poison the water supply. The amount of fluorine added to water and fluoridation is well within safe limits. Duck, that's the point. There are no safe limits. Jeez, I love you guys, but the sector really does keep you in the dark. Better than getting picked up by the hand, at least. Wouldn't want to be bowing to their star gods. I see. I believe we're done for today. Thank you for your cooperation. Wait. Can I ask a question? I can't promise I'll be able to answer, but I suppose you can, yes? The Sector. Is that short for Sector Control Protocol? I don't believe I know the answer to that. Yeah, I figured you wouldn't. Okay, one last one. The water you give me. You don't get it from the tap, right? No, we don't. Good. That's good. You know what kind of stuff they put in tap water? 